Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to create a database in Notion. A database is a more advanced type of page you can use to structure information of all kinds. Databases are essentially more intelligent spreadsheets, with a few distinct differences that I'll point out. To make a database from scratch, click the New Page button and select one of the options in the Database section of this menu. Let's start with a table. The first column is where you'll enter your database items. Like in the case of a content calendar, the first column contains pieces of content. Each column in the table corresponds to a property of that item. Think of each property as a piece of information, like tags that describe the item. In this case, we'll use a tag to indicate which social channel we're using, a deadline, which we'll add by changing this file property to a date property, the teammate who's assigned to this task, which we'll do by adding a person property, or any number of other attributes you might need. Here's how this database might look once you add some more content. Notion databases are also special because each item that you add is its own Notion page, where you can add, edit, and organize even more information and view all of the item's properties. You can also view your data in different ways so you can see it in the format that's most helpful to you. For example, you can turn your table into a calendar. Or a board that's grouped by property. Now that you've created a database, you can keep it in your sidebar as a top-level page, or you can move it inside a regular page to create a subpage link. That way it's included in your company wiki, or your marketing team wiki. You can also view it as an inline database alongside other content. To turn an inline database back into a full-page database, just drag into your sidebar. Check out our video on database views to learn even more.